Je me souviens. Excluded from the Montreal subway since 1966. Quebec National Day, June 24, 2009. Hymn to the Quebec Nation. Ce soir, ce soir, c'est un soir important. Ce soir, on fête notre nation. Built during the Quiet Revolution, the Montreal subway considerably changed the Montreal landscape and city life. The subway instantly became a major component of Montreal identity. The Montreal subway was built in a way that it could only be accessed by stairs. Because of that, many Montrealers whose mobility needs cannot be accommodated by stairs are excluded. In 1977, Montrealers were invited to use the subway in the first television advertisement campaign in Montreal public transit history. This invitation assumed that all citizens could ride the subway, and that riding the subway or not is a matter of choice. The advertisement showed six male and female dancers from the Grand Ballet Canadien de Montréal dance on the platform and in the car. They are the perfect representation of the ideal body. The dancers sing a song titled Il fait beau dans le métro. That song is at the heart of the advertisement. The song is a note to the Montreal subway. The lyrics express the mainstream narrative of the Montreal subway, a national jewel that we all have in common. Everybody is cheerful, everybody has their heart under the sun. Faster it is, more it's sunny in our ears. There's a blue sky in the happy eyes of everybody. Because we smile, our subway is the most beautiful in the world. Inaccessible spaces, such as the Montreal subway, regularly tell disabled people that they are out of place. This ever-present unwelcomed reminder, written on urban landscape, denies the right to citizenship of disabled people by jeopardizing their right to mobility. August 2002. I just moved to Montreal from one of the smallest Quebec towns. This is my first day of class at Cégep. I am so nervous. I remember this day as the time of my life. I will soon become a real urban girl, finally. My school is located in the heart of the city. This city I have already fell in love with. I have chosen the coolest Cégep in order to be with the coolest people. I am 17 years old. I have to take a special bus to get to school. I don't want to take it. I don't want to be identified as handicapé. But I am on that special bus known as being for the handicapé. Do I have another choice? It feels weird to be on that bus. I have never traveled on a segregated bus before. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. I see the crowd of students crossing Ontario Street to reach the main entrance of the school. They look like an ant colony. I know they are all coming from the subway station. My bus stops a few meters away from the main entrance. I am getting off at a special place. I am not in the ant colony. I wish I was part of it. I don't feel like I'm 17. On fait plus juste préparer la révolution. On est révolutionné. In October 1988, more than 50 members of the American Disabled for Accessible Public Transit came to Montreal to stage protest at the annual convention of the American Public Transit Association. Television reports indicate that the protests have mainly been led by Americans. I am shattered by these revolutionary images that were never mentioned in my history classes. Wheelchair users used their wheelchairs to get upstairs and went down the stairs to reach the subway platform. 
They interrupted the conference and attracted Quebec media's attention. Their wheelchairs hitting the physical barriers put in place by the police to control them, making a painfully loud but meaningful sound. I have never witnessed such a beautiful metaphor for how I feel, locked out of my own city. Very few Quebecers participate in the protest. Maria Barilly is one of them. Here in Quebec, we were told uh, by various groups that we were traitors, that we were embarrassing the city community of people with disability. In fact, up to about six, seven years ago, when I tried to be part of Ruta and help with the protest that was going on, or that's what they told me, that there was a protest to make the metro accessible. So I said, well, you know what? I did all that work, spent my own money. I went to New um, Boston to see what things were like. Why don't you let me give you that information? My name was still blacklisted in a sense that, no, 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 we don't want that. That's not how we work. Ce soir, oui, je veux me souvenir, mais ce soir, avec vous, je veux qu'on regarde en avant. Ce soir, je veux qu'on embrasse l'avenir. Je suis d'un peuple ouvert sur le monde. Un peuple lumineux. Parce qu'il n'y a pas eu peur de se transformer. In addition to this elevator at Lionel Gou, they've also built one at Berry-Ucam. They already have three in Laval, and by 2011, they're going to build one here at Côte Vertu, one at Henri Bourassa, and one down here at Bonaventure. After that, they're going to build one more elevator every year, but there are 60 stations, so do the math. It's going to take them another 60 years before every station has an elevator. Je suis d'un peuple ouvert sur le monde. Un peuple où les hommes et les femmes appartiennent au même monde. Et ça, et ça moi j'en suis très fier. The modern city secures the needs of productive bodies, leaving the rest exposed to social and environmental risk. Architectural apartheid is not based primarily on racist prejudice, but rather on the needs for security of productive elites. I guess to me is a form of uh, exclusion, is a form, is a definite form of uh, segregation and a way of telling people you're not welcome in the community because without transport you can't get anywhere. Uh, the way it works now is that you have to call a couple of days before and they may or may not pick you up and they may or may not do even come in. There are times when they completely forget to pick me up from work. So it's segregation, it's um, an exclusion and it's a way of telling me I'm not welcome in the community. Ce soir, on assume toutes nos ambitions. Ce soir, on fait notre autonomie et on fait notre maturité. For starters, she says, the elevator's too small. Most riders in wheelchairs won't be able to turn around and will have to back out, which could be dangerous. They'll also have to call and wait for a worker to set up a special ramp so they can roll on board. My autonomy. My maturity.
Taking pictures of myself and spaces in which I have been silently excluded and today gradually included in a conservative and paternalistic way offers me the possibility to resist, the possibility of claiming my presence in this space. I remember my birth certificate. I was born in Quebec City in 1985. I remember a time when I thought this piece of paper meant that I had rights and freedoms. I remember my history of exclusion from the Montreal subway. Silenced and normalized. I remember feeling much better in other cities than my own. I remember leaving my home. I remember trying to find words to claim my own political exile and being unable to find them in my mother tongue. I remember a suffocated revolution. Je me souviens que l'on m'a oublié. Yes, I can remember. Son petit frère, il fait beau dans le métro. Et l'autobus, peux-tu en dire autant dans ton auto? Papa, 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 il fait beau dans le métro. Notre métro, c'est le plus joyeux. Et comme il chante, c'est tant mieux, vive le métro. Et l'autobus, oui. 